what time it is. Hey my friends, thank you guys for joining me. Today I got some Panda Express for us, so come on in, grab your plate so we can eat and chat. And you know before we do that, we have to say grace. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this food that me and my friends are about to enjoy. Thank you for looking over us, and I ask that you continue to protect all of our families. I ask these things under your Son, named Christ Jesus. Amen. Guys, I'm so happy to be back. I feel like I've been away from you guys for much too long, so I'm very happy to be back. And I'm very happy about this Panda Express. I want to show y'all what it is that I have. Trust me, you guys are going to be impressed. Look how yummy. This is. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to tell you what I have. I got some orange chicken. I got some rice. I got some grilled teriyaki chicken, which I think is up in this little box right here that they gave me and the sad thing is about it even though this chicken looks so good unfortunately um i have stopped eating meat except for seafood so no chicken no pork um but that grilled teriyaki mm, don't it look so good um this is going to be for nicholas nicholas is over here um so um there you go. The chicken and stuff, that's that's for Nicholas. I'm not dealing with that chicken. But um thank you. So I got I got some chow mein. I'm definitely gonna eat that and some rice. And I got some wook fried shrimp which i'm gonna tear that up right here this shrimp with all the vegetables that is in it and i have what are these these like um these are spring rolls i was looking on my receipt because i don't see it on my receipt but these are um spring rolls that only have vegetables in them so i i know this is going to taste really really good so i'm really looking forward to that Um, really is. You want some rice? Okay. I'm sharing with Nicholas. Guys. You know Nicholas is always around. I don't know where the other ones um, went. I'm not a big rice person. Um, for sure. I'm definitely not I love rice. the big on um, rice. So guys, I... This um, no meat thing is definitely going to be um, a journey for me. Definitely. Um, and it's going to be a challenge for me as well. But you guys know I'm, I'm up for these challenges. Like I'm really, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm up for them. I'm ready for them. You guys already know that. I want you guys to be able to see my food better. So you can see what I got going on. But yeah, I'm, I'm up for the challenge. I'm, I'm excited about it. And I mean, really, it's just one of those kind of things. It's just so much stuff going on with food. Um, how they prepare food these days. How they prepare these chickens. What they pump them up with and all that stuff. So I, I just want to try something new and just just different so this just you know my my thing I want you to see these shrimp mm, look how good things those look mm, mm, mm -hmm. I love vegetables oh mm, but, uh, I love vegetables and these bell peppers the red ones mmm Yummy. Mm. So, <coughs> with the no meat, 
already I haven't felt a challenge about it at all. I really have seen it as out of sight, out of mind. Um, I think this. I think when you put your mind to something, just do it. Because some people say, oh, I, I want to stop eating meat. I really want to. But I just love it so much. And, and the thing is, um, you just got to put your mind to it. When I stopped drinking sodas years ago, I can still buy sodas for my children and don't feel the need to drink them at all. I mean, it's just something that mentally I just put out. But me, this is delicious shrimp right here. Honey, it tastes just as good as if you was eating some meat. So, mmm. It's all good. I left my water. Oh, my juice. Mm -hmm. My juice that was in the refrigerator. Mm -mm. Mm, the other one in the bottle. Mm. I'm going to have to say this. Panda Express, y'all did this. Y'all did this. This is this is good. Oh, you want some? Oh, girl, that, there you go, girl. I forgot. There you go. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, girl. That's good. Mm. Check out my blood orange drink that I got from the store. Blood orange. I'm going to taste this because I, I want to know what it tastes like, y'all. Gotta get it open. Get it open. Mm. Let's see. Mm. Mm. Let me try this one more time before I give my review on this. Okay, first of all, we've had some blood oranges here. I don't know if you guys ever heard of blood oranges, but there is a such thing as blood oranges. The inside looks like this color or darker. Um, this right here tastes like I'm drink drinking, um, no, it tastes like I'm licking the outside of an orange. That's what this tastes like. So, um, yeah, I ain't going to get out of 10. That's all I'm going to say. Now back to this shrimp. Y'all, okay, I'm gonna tell y'all something because this was funny. I feel like having, sharing a really good laugh with you guys while we're eating. Oh, well, I have these vegetables. What vegetable is this? This looks like this, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna eat these bell peppers. Okay. But how you guys been doing? I'm so sorry. I didn't even ask about y'all. Y'all doing okay? What's been going on? Anything going on that I need to know about? If so, you know what to leave it down in my comments. Yes, come on down in my comments. And you know, if there's something that you want me to do, something that you want me to eat, um, just let me know if you have any questions for me and my family that you want me to answer. You know where to put it in the comments below. And um, you already know what time it is. I hope y'all make sure to hit that subscribe button. I, I know you did. I already know you did. I ain't got to worry about you. I don't. At all. Because you guys are so good like that. But there's something funny I had came across earlier that I wanted to share with my friends because it was so funny. I could not stop um, calling. I mean laughing. Okay, this is, um, <laughs> let's see. Y'all know how people will call the police for any, anything in the world knowing they ain't got no business. And, and they'll call 911 as well. 
okay because I think people think they got 911 on speed dial for anything so this is the world's dumbest 911 calls um, so I'm gonna play this while we're eating um, you guys can tell me what y'all um, think about it Six and my doubles. Riggin says he took the bag inside and talked to an employee hoping to get his other hamburger, but things didn't turn out so well. Now, most people who smoke know just what it's like to want a cigarette and not have one. Most of them would never think of calling 911 like this Granberry grandmother did. Well, we caught up with her just a few hours ago and asked her what she was thinking. Well, we were just kicking it in the backyard, just, you know, a few bears too many, and then. Like, so you know, we're out of cigarettes. Well, I didn't want to drive to town, so. So Linda White grabbed her cell phone. Head County 911, what is the address of your emergency? That's right. She called 911. Hello. Hello. I need some cigarettes. I was drunk. Charlotte County man is arrested after <laughs> deputies say he called 911 because he could not bring his kitten into a strip club. 47-year-old Everett Lagus is in jail on $4,000 bond. Deputies say he tried to bring that kitten into the Emerald City Gentlemen's Club. When the owner told him he had to leave, he no, sir. sat down outside the business and called 911. He should slap his hair. Folks, you get home from work, right? You go to freshen up. There's a stranger taking a shower in your bathroom. What? I'm not kidding. Look at this. Okay, and the guy is white, black, and Jennifer Asian. I have no idea. He was in the bathroom. Okay, hold on a second. And the door's shut. And he says he's in there. And I said, who the hell is you? Okay. And he said, Timothy something. I totally forgot his name. Okay. And he said he broke in? He said he broke in and he was kidnapped. And he was taking a shower. Mm. Okay. Okay, hold on a second. And the guy is white, black, and Jennifer Asian. I have no idea. He was in the Rinsing off, he'll be right out in a minute, but this gets better, okay? The intruder who was in the shower, I can't believe she was laughing about it. I think I would be completely freaked out. As I would have been freaked shower. out too. But he <laughs> apparently feared for his own safety because the homeowner showed up, so he picked up the phone and called 911 from inside the house at the same time and listened to what he said. 911? I broke into the house and the owner came with me. You broke into the house? He has the munchies. According to the police report, he'd been drinking alcohol. What are the employees saying? You can't walk up. You gotta drive up. This is crazy. You gotta just DUI to get a taco. I get the munchies. Um, I walk a quarter mile from here. Are you, gonna, are you gonna help me out or I have to get arrested to be at home? You know what I'm saying? Well, we're not gonna take you home. I don't want you calling Andrew. This is crazy, y'all. dispatcher, though, the reason he called Largo Police. Really crazy. When I get with your service for no reason, it keeps me off, so I call you guys. Can y'all believe that? All of that, that people will actually call 911 for such foolery like that? And I think um, the icing on the cake was the guy who broke into the lady house, taking a shower, and then he got the nerve to call 911. Now, if he don't slap himself, come on now. The nerve. The nerve. People are crazy. People are stone crazy. happy that it is Friday but it's so much going on my son my um the oldest boy he is um graduating in two weeks so um yeah about two weeks so we I really um 
I really was feeling like, oh, I can't wait for this to be over with because there's so much going on. You know, when you have family coming in town and stuff like that, which I'm super excited about that because to be honest, I don't have a lot of family that comes in town to start with, but my mama is coming. So I'm really excited about that because um, she's only came to visit me in North Carolina one time and that was after I moved here. So it's going to be very great to um, see her here, you know. Um, so, but then I realized that, you know, I had to just go with the flow and ease up everything and everything was going to happen how it should happen, you know, and I had just had needed to relax. So, well, that's what I did. Um, I just relaxed about it, you know, and um, everything's going to be fine. Um, I, I know. But um, I just, now it's hitting me. Um, I was... I was looking at his, um, what they call it, the gown, the graduation gown that he has hanging in my closet, and it just, it just kind of hit me that, oh my God, you know, this is my second child that's about to graduate, you know, and you remember your children as being little, and then when they graduate, it's like, they're like, oh my God, time flies so much, so, um, I'm just hoping that I don't cry at graduation. I mean, I, I shouldn't, but I'm hoping that I don't. Mm. But I'm excited. Now I'm pretty excited. I guess this was some orange kind of sauce they had. I'm going to put some on here. Was it good, Nicholas? Mm -hmm. I'm going to try like this um, licking the orange peel drink. I like that. Um, what is this? This? Orange. Yeah, orange, orange. chicken. Oh, the orange chicken. What I got going on, first of all? I'm dropping stuff on me? Mm-mm. No, that ain't cute. Look at me drinking this like a kid. Hmm. What the world? This actually smells like an orange peel. No lie. But I'm thirsty. So I had to drink something. But guys, those um 911 calls, the dumbest calls, I mean, man. That's so funny. When you was younger, did you ever call 911 playing around? I think we might have. You know, we used to call people's houses. We used to get the phone book and call random houses playing around, do prank calls and stuff like that. Mm, I mean, maybe we shouldn't have, but I mean, we were kids. It was fun. It was funny, too. Mm, that orange sauce tastes great. Mm, this chow mein. It really brings it out a lot. Mm. Mm. I know you guys know I ain't did a mukbang in a, in a while. And I apologize, friends, because I know some of y'all have been waiting. I do apologize about that. But in honest, all honesty, I had to get my life together. Mm, it's so good. It's so, so good. Mm. I don't even want to stop eating it. It's so good. I'm going to save this chicken. For 
Matasa and Ali because they like chicken and rice. I'm not big on this rice right here. But I have to say, I would give this meal a, I give it a 10. I'm very pleased with the meal. Um, I'm very pleased. It, um, everything tastes really, really good. I'm so happy. Those spring rolls are the bomb. I could actually live off of those and not worry about meat at all because those are so good. Um, and of course, the shrimp was the bomb. I definitely ordered the same stuff again. Um, just next time for me, um, I would order broccoli um, as well. The broccoli, the spring rolls, the chow mein, that right there is all that I would need. All that I would need. So guys, I really enjoyed you um, eating with me today. I surely hope you enjoyed your meal because you know I enjoyed mine. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you like, subscribe, and you hit that notification bell. And don't forget to share my video with a friend because they might want to know what's going on. And if you are an original RB family member and you already know what time it is, you know that is much love, much love. I love you, love you, love you. I thank everybody for coming back every day to um, share my video, my food, my reviews, uh, my family time. I appreciate you so, so, so much. Y'all are so dope. And as always, is Rita Bonita. Rita Bonita, and you know what time it is. Cha 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 cha. Bye, guys. Peace, love, and happiness. See you later.